Balron are the world leaders in repair and replacement of automotive glass, operating out of 37 countries worldwide, employing round about 30,000. Uh, here in the UK, you'll know us as Autoglass, we employ around 2,500 people. The biggest market we have is the US, in the US you'll know us as Safelight. So we sort of fell on power apps by um, a bit of an accident, if I'm honest. So uh, Martin, uh, he used to work in one of our operation centers and he was just seen as somebody who had a little bit of initiative about him and was interested in, in, in modern technology. And we set Martin off on a bit of a crusade to find better ways of doing it. And consequently, he's found himself restructured into the business, working almost primarily on developing these power ops for us. And he's done an amazing job. So when, uh, once I started building these apps and it was getting known, um, you know, people just kept coming to me to build these apps. You know, with 40 apps out there, um, we've got every single department um, after a different app. So working with Martin, from somebody who, like myself, has no app building um, experience, uh, I needed that, that support. And that's where Martin came into play. So from a very quick meeting, uh, where we discussed the initial design concept, to a demo where we could where we could view where we could see how it worked where we could see where we needed to make changes and those changes could be put in very quickly since i've known him and he's you know progressed more into the development side of things um, he's got a real passion for helping people um, and tackling tasks that perhaps are a bit unseen and that no one's really taken on before i love my job um, it gives me great great pleasure to build these apps and to see people actually using them while walking around head office The Technical Help Desk app is used to gather the information from the call. So by that we take the technician's name, we take um, the product that they're calling about and a few other key bits of information. It's then put together with what they're calling about. So if it's about a product, we can take what issue they had, what action we gave them and, and asked them to, to check and then what advice we gave that person to get over that problem they had. So before power haps, if we had um, a delay on a job because somebody was trying to contact a dispatch centre in the old fashioned way of, of working, then that would impact the next customer. So if there was a 10 minute delay trying to sort out something over the telephone, couldn't get through for instance, the next customer we would be late for, which isn't great. So the use of power apps will we hopefully, and we've already seen good signs of that, is to not only make us more efficient, but there will be some cost savings and some engagement issues for the staff because making the jobs easier is part of what we're trying to do. 